Hey up duckies, Andy Lippy here. How the devil are we today? So I had my first horror stream last night on Twitch, which was insane. And it kind of went a little bit like this. Oh, right, no, we're cool. That... <laughs> ah! No! No! You keep doing that all you want, sunshine. That's... Oh! 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 I see the yeah, it was, a, it was a little bit of a write-off, but I had so many questions on how to make my camera look like that. And I'm going to get into that right now, but before we do, press that like button and help us ride that YouTube algorithm. If you don't like it, dislike it, and also subscribe, alright? Let's get into it! Alright, so before we do get into this, there are a couple things that you'll need. You'll definitely need a Kinect. This is the most underrated webcam ever. Literally used to be so useless, but now it's amazing. I love it. I use it in every single stream. I'll show you some more features that it can do in another video, so make sure you are subscribed. You'll need an adapter for it, and you'll also need a couple of plugins. But I've actually made a video on all that stuff that you'll be able to see just up here. So we don't have to do cover it in this video. We're just covering the best horror cam that you can get. So once you've got that all installed, so pause this video, get it all installed. If you've got to connect, everything like that. And then we'll get on with the show. So to get the, the awesome infrared camera effect, which it uses an, uh, an infrared camera. So we just go um, onto sources. Add a source. Um, once it's all installed, you'll have connect source. Add a source. Call it a name. Press OK, and it'll be full screen. So just bear with. There we go. So you can see it might be a little bit glitchy, um, just because I've running multiple cameras and also multiple sources for uh, the camera. But normally it'll be very smooth, as you'll see. Well, you saw in the clips that I had. So on the settings here, we talked about the normal color one. We've actually got infrared. Here we go. So you can see straight away, it's not using the camera on the left hand side of the device, it's using the middle camera that is the infrared. You've got a couple of different um, settings that you can fiddle with, um, like changing the infrared values based on distance and everything like that. So you can get some really scary look, like I feel like I'm on Derek Akora or something, like, do you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna get you. Um, so you can tinker with them to get the best look that you want, I mean, it looks super spe spooky if you've got pets in the background because they've got proper, like, cat's eyes sort of thing, so it looks really, really scary. Um, and I'm just going to show you now uh, if, uh, what I kind of did with it. So I'm going to go to my Let's Chat horror scene. So it looks very like this. So you kind of get the atmosphere and everything like that, and it's so easy to set up when it, it's just a setting. You just change the setting and you're in on the horror mode. Well, the full screen so it was it was very like everybody was in the same boat like the stream was so good if you do want to come and join us finish outlast 2 we're going to be doing it once a month with all the scare alerts on and everything like that uh, if you guys want to see how i did all the scare alerts then please please let me know in the comments below okay um, and then when we were in the game it kind of looked like this but yeah that is literally it to get that working, it's so super simple and it's so effective. It really adds to the audience, tension, everything like that. Oh, I think if I was to do it again, I'd change my overlay, make it a little bit darker so everybody is still darker. But if you've got any questions on any of that or there's anything you want me to cover in these tutorials or just anything, just anything, all right? Let me know in the comments below. There's also our Discord down below where we all help each other out. And there's also the Stream Aid playlist just here, which has got absolutely tons of advanced features in OBS and plugins and things to make your stream really pop and done in a very easy way to, to kind of make sense of, all right? So until next time, like the video and also subscribe. Peace, guys.